हेलो हेलो गुड इवनिंग हेलो हेलो गुड इवनिंग हाउ आर यू हाउ आर यू टू नाइट एक्सेलेंट यू आर एक्सेलेंट गुड इट्स नाइस टू सी यू वन मोर नाइट let me check here how was the day qué tal cómo estuvo su día bien pues bien te viendo with a lot of work sí, yes. con mucho trabajo with a lot of work Sí, ahora sí, bastante. Yes, a lot of, I imagine. Okay, we're going to start. <clears throat> Remember that yesterday we were... <clears throat> with some of the verb to be. Did you watch the video? ¿Pudieron ver el video? Yes. <clears throat> yes, you saw it? Okay. Yes. Did you do the exercise? Yes. Yes, you did it? Okay. Then, we are going to continue with numbers. <clears throat> In the case of numbers from one to 10. Se puede bien, eh, ver bien. Eh, lo que estoy compartiendo. Sí. Yes? Okay. Sí. Yes. yes. Very good. Okay, so we are going to see about the numbers. We are going to repeat them. As one. Let me check here. One. Uh -huh. one. Two. 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 Three. 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 Four. 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 Five. 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 Six. 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 Seven. Seven, eight, 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 nine, 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 and ten. And ten. ten. That's good. Okay. Now we're going to repeat everyone. Let's see. Brian, Brian, Rene, repeat the numbers. <laughs> One, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. That's great. Thank you. Nice. Let's see. Maria. Maria Emilia. One, <clears throat> two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, eight, nine, and ten. And ten. That's all right. Good one. Just give, give me a, um, a short moment, guys. All right, let's continue then. Kenya, Kenya Vanessa. Yes. One, mm -hmm. two, yes. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And ten. Very good job. Nice. Continue, Douglas. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's all right. Good one. Continue, Ariel, Alexandra. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And ten. Very good. That's nice. Great. That's good. Okay. Now let's see Rafael Aguilar. <clears throat> okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's all right. Good one. Very good. Okay. 
This is to see about the numbers. <clears throat> Me preguntaban acá en el chat que si es necesario tener los micrófonos activos solo en el momento de que vamos a, vamos a hablar para que así no haya interferencia. <clears throat> Igual cuando estamos viendo los videos. Ok, so let's see here about <clears throat> when you investigate telephone number. So you need to apply the numbers. It says, what's your number? We have telephone numbers in English. What's your phone number? <clears throat> and we pronounce here. It's three, six, nine, two, five, eight, four, seven. In English, it's necessary to pronounce individual numbers. Yes, not like here in, in El Salvador that we say, okay, eh, mi número de teléfono es 36925847. No, right? En inglés es necesario ir individual con cada número. So let's practice here with this one. Let me check. <clears throat> Sandra Margarita? Hello? Can you tell me what sí. number is this, please? What telephone number is this? Five zero five nine one zero two three. That's correct. Thank you. Okay. So you have the same number here. Now notice that here it says you can say the number uh, zero as the letter O as a zero. En inglés también es válido utilizar la letra O sustituyendo al cero. Gra gramaticalmente no es correcto porque esa es una vocal. Y se habla de números, pero pues como en todo idioma también hay informalidades, entonces también se puede utilizar la letra O y es bien común que se utilice así. Entonces podría ser 50591023. Let's see, Sandra Guadalupe. What number is this? The microphone, please. El micrófono. El micrófono lo tiene inactivo, Sandra. Perdón. Ay, thank you, thank you. Five, seven, one, eight, three, three, six, nine. Mm -hmm. That's all right. Thank you, Juan Alberto. What number is this? What telephone number is this? <clears throat> the number is two, one, four, nine, eight, seven, seven, seven. That's correct. Good one. Blanca, what number is this? Um, six, five, one, mm -hmm. nine. Yes. Four, three, 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 two, correct, one, is the clock, uh -huh. zero, okay. you can say zero or zero. you can say zero. oh, mm -hmm. yes. zero, uh, nine, good one, eight, seven, seven, that's correct, good job, that's nice, okay. Now let's check something else here. We have a video. In this video, they give telephone numbers. So let's check here the platform. ¿Verdad que no logran ver mi video? Aparece como la, como la uh, cámara quizás apagada. Sí, sí su cámara aquí no aparece. ¿Verdad? Ok, thank you. Ya voy a verificar eso. Now, we are going to then <clears throat> listen about some numbers. Ok, here. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn how Se escucha. Can you hear? Yes. Sí, se escucha. Excellent. Yes, se escucha. Okay, perfect. 
to ask for and mm -hmm. give phone numbers. Mm -hmm. Let's get started by going over the numbers from 1 through 10. Let's listen and repeat. 0 0 1 2 3 4 No, ahorita no les aparece imagen, solo les va mencionando los números. 6 Ahorita solo les escucha. 7 Ya les va a aparecer más video. 8 9 10 Now let's try to practice by reading out the numbers that you see on the screen. Ana Silva. Ana Silva's work phone number is 201-555-2491. Ana Silva's Home phone number is nine one four five 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 two seven one four. Anna Silva's cell phone number is eight four five 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 one zero oh, two three and you get the idea James Lang phone number James Lang work phone number is eight hundred five 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 eight eight nine three James Lang home phone number is six zero oh, four Five 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 two seven one four. James Lang's cell phone number is two five zero oh, five 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 one zero oh, two three. Now, what I would like for you to do is to give some examples of your own. For example, my work phone number is seven one three six nine five three five three nine. My cell phone number is, my wife's cell phone number is. You should give at least 10 examples and share them in our discussion forums. Hello? What could you hear? Tell me. <clears throat> Pudieron escuchar los números, ¿verdad? Varios números telefónicos que se escuchaban. Yes. Yes? Okay. Yes. So that is to listen. Then you have an exercise. Este ejercicio está en la plataforma. Después de escuchar este audio, le va a aparecer un ejercicio. Okay. Now let's check here. <clears throat> In the next point, we have objects vocabulary. So as we know, in a backpack or in a bag, we have a lot of things. For example, <clears throat> in this case, yes, maybe? Sí, Miss, tengo una duda. Y aparecía un número que era 800. Entonces eh, decía 800. Cuando aparecen mm -hmm. así, eh, que aparecen números ya grandes, 800, 700, podemos decirlo de una sola vez sin decir A00. It's in an informal way, they use it. De manera informal, si lo utilizan completo, pero formalmente es necesario utilizarlo individual. So it's 800 or 800. Mm -hmm. Entonces es más formal utilizarlo así. 
Ahora, cuando ya se habla de cantidades, sí, ¿verdad? You talk about money, cuando hablamos de dinero. <clears throat> all right, so let's see about objects, vocabulary. So we have here about the keys. You have keys, David card, passport, handbag, glasses, wallet, phone, or you can say cell phone also. Cell phone is correct. Medicine. <clears throat> and we have other objects here. For example, this one. What is it? Computer. It's a computer. Excellent. In a specific, that's a laptop, right? So it's a laptop. So when you ask the question, what is it? Guess. What is it? It's a laptop. Good. Tell me, what color is the laptop? <clears throat> right. Aha, uh -huh. okay. It's gray. What else? Black. Gray and black. In black. That's correct. Good one. Okay. Now let's see the next part. These ones are earbuds. Earbuds. Repeat, earbuds. 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 So these ones are uh, auriculares, right? Different than the headphones. Headphones or headsets. But it's different. That's headphones. But these ones are earbuds. So we have earbuds in these parts. <clears throat> now, what is it? No more. It's a camera. camera. That's good. It's a camera. Very good. What are these? Glasses. 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 That's correct. Good. Now tell me, what is it? Back. Back. It's a backpack. Back. Back. Correct. Back. What is it? Yeah. Market. It's a? Uh. Draw, draw, draw desk and uh, no, welcome. <laughs> Maybe an iPad, right? Or a tablet. Uh -huh, yeah. It can be a tablet. Okay. What about this one? What is it? It's a pencil. Pencil. A marker. Marker. A sharp marker. marker. Uh -huh. Yes, correct. It's a marker. Very good. Okay, what about this one? What is it? A pencil. It's a, a pencil. pencil. That's correct. Really good. Okay, we have other elements here. We have a lot of other objects. <clears throat> what is it? Number one, what is it? <clears throat> Bag. 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 It's a bag. Bag. It's a backpack. Yeah, that's good. Rafael, na, eh, let's see about number 11. What are they? Cuando es plural, ya decimos what are they. ¿Qué son? What are they? It's a photography. Ah, no, they're photos, right? Yeah, they're pictures, they're photos. That's correct. Good one. Maria right. Emilia, what is it? Let's see number 14. <laughs> No sé cómo se dice billetera. Wallet. Wallet. We say wallet. Ajá, uh -huh, that's a wallet, correct. What about this one? Keys. 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 Very good. How many keys? ¿Cuántas? How many? Two. Two, Two. keys. Excellent. Two What keys. are these? Glasses. 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 That's perfect. Very good. Okay. What about this one? Number eight. What is it? Camera. Camera. It's a camera. camera. It's a camera. That's good. Now let's go ahead here with Blanca. Blanca, what is it? Number five. The big car. Sorry. It's a. A credit card. It's a credit a card. card. Correct. Gabriela Abigail. What is it? Number seven. Book. Dictionary. It's a? A book. It's a book, but in a specific? What is a specific? Dictionary. 
A dictionary. Very good. That's nice. Okay, let's see. Blanca, what is it? Number three. It's a? Ah, okay, yes, you can say it's a mobile phone, it's a cell phone, right? That's correct. You can use it also like that. What about it number? Is my... yes. yes. Hello? Y, y se le puede decir smart también. It's? Ah, it's a smartphone. It's, smart. it's a smartphone. A smartphone. Uh -huh. Porque es un teléfono inteligente, es smartphone. Ajá. Es necesario que vayan ambos. Ah, ok. Yes. So chill. Now tell me, what is it? It's number 12. Uh, USB. Ajá, it's a USB and oh, also it's a memory stick. Ajá, yes, it has two forms you can call it. It's a memory stick. That's good. Okay, so what else we have here? Number nine, what is it? What? A watch. It's a watch. That's correct. Good job. Nice. And here we have tissues. Tissues that are here. Tissues. That's number 10. Tissues. Yes. Okay, eh, this link, I'm going to send it to you in the group. Le voy a mandar este link al grupo de WhatsApp, porque ahí viene un ejercicio. Es de este mismo de acá, es de ir colocando el número a cada uno del cuadrito, dependiendo de cuál sea la imagen. That is to practice that. Now, also we can watch the video. This video is about what's in your bag. ¿Qué hay en tu bolso? What's in your bag? Let's check here. Ay, qué chico con los TikTok. Hi everyone. In this class you'll become familiar with common objects. Which people Can you hear? Se puede oír? Yes. yes. Okay. okay, thank you. We'll have in their bags. <clears throat> we will listen to a quick audio and you should listen and repeat. An address book. A hairbrush. A wallet. Sunglasses. A CD player. A, CD a camera. Player. Keys. A cell phone. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can check vocabulary there. What objects did you hear? ¿Qué objetos pudieron escuchar y observar en el video? Mm, a CD player. Uh, ah, okay, phone. a CD player. A camera. Phone, camera. A camera. camera. Cell phone, a cell phone, a wallet, a memory, a memory, sunglasses, yes, that's correct. Bag, a bag, a bag. correct. What color is the bag? Red. red. It's red, uh -huh. correct. It has red, it has black. Okay, nice. Okay, we have those elements there. Now, Let's check here about another topic. These ones are demonstrative adjectives or demonstrative determiners. Eso es como cuando utilizamos para señalar este, esta, aquella, esa. Esta de acá sería singular. Say this. This is an apple. Si me ayudan con el micrófono, porfi, se escucha con una diferencia. Thank you. ¿Me escuchan bien? Yes. yes. Okay. Thank you. Okay. In the case of a singular, 
you have a short distance. En el caso de un elemento que esté cerca y solo sea uno, utilizamos el demostrativo this. This is an apple. Esta es una manzana. En el caso de que el elemento oh. esté... Ajá. O oh, it oh, is, it is. Ajá, exacto. Well, podemos utilizarla okay. también. Exacto, podemos utilizar el verb to be. En ese caso, eh, el sujeto ahí sería it. Pero acá como estamos como señalándolo, como para señalarlo. This is an ah, apple. Okay. Esta es una manzana. Es un elemento que esté cerca. Y si está pues lejos, no necesariamente tan lejos, pero a modo que no lo pueda tocar. That is an apple. Esa es o aquella es una manzana. <coughs> We also have the plural. Tenemos el plural también. El plural de this is this. Ahora sería, estas son manzanas. These are apples. A larga distancia sería, aquellas son manzanas. O oh, esas son manzanas. You say, those are apples. Now, we have another example here. Near, está cerca. Say, this shamrock. Un trébol, right? Este trébol. It's a short distance. Es a corta distancia. This shamrock, far, es lejos. That shamrock. This is the plural. This shamrocks. You see, in that case, you have three shamrocks. This shamrocks, those shamrocks. So you have singular and the plural. Now, we can give other examples. In the case that I tell you, eh, the objects that I have here. Los objetos que, que yo tengo acá. This is my cell phone. Now, you're going to give me an example. Sandra, give us an example. Con a, algún elemento que usted tenga ahí cerca. And use this. Ah, good. Yes. This, this is? This is a um, pencil. A pencil. That's good. ¿Es un lápiz o un lapicero? Lapicero. Ah, okay. Then it's a pen. A pen. Okay. A pen. That's good. This is a pen. Good. Nelly, give us an example with this. This is a notebook. A notebook. Okay. Thank you. Good. Ariel Alexandra, give us an example with this. It is water. This is? This is? It is water. Water, that's correct. Good one. Okay, now let's use with the distance. That is. Maria Emily, an example with that is. This is a television. That, that. Uh, that is a television. That is a television. Very good. That's nice. Kenya? Use that. That is. That is a computer. That is a computer, right? That's good. Blanca. That. Use that. That is. That is a bathroom. That is. That is bathroom. Ah, a bathroom. Okay, that's good. Very good. Uh -huh. Fernando Jesus. Now I use this. So it's plural. <clears throat> this are a pencil. These are a pencil. Pencils. Pencils. En el caso pencil. de que sea ya más de uno. Estos son lápices. These are pencils. Yeah, that's very good. So chill. Example with this. <clears throat> These are um, clocks. These are clocks. Clocks. Okay, that's good. Short distance. Now let's see Brian. Brian Rene. Give an example with those. Now it's long distance. A larga distance. Those are canvas. Ah, those are canvas. That's very good. Nice. Marisol. An example with those are. Marisol 
Not here. You did it. Those, Those are toys. Those are toys. That's correct. Very good. Okay. We had these demonstratives. Questions? Preguntas? <clears throat> no, no consulta. Yes, tell me. Este, lo que me he fijado que la palabra a, m, eh, mm -hmm. cuando está, ¿en qué momento se usa? Este artículo, este se le llama un artículo. Okay. Lo vamos a utilizar nada más para un elemento. Un elemento. Y cuando la siguiente palabra inicia con una vocal y su sonido es de vocal también. Uh, otro ejemplo podría ser an elephant. Ah, an okay. elephant. Ah, Cuando okay. decimos, en el caso de, like here, you say a backpack. Ahí sería a. Porque backpack empieza con una consonante que es la letra B. So aquí ya no aplica como an backpack sino a backpack, a camera, a cell phone, a dictionary. Entonces depende de la siguiente palabra, después del artículo. Okay. Si es una vocal o es una consonante. Thank you. Thank you. Any other question? Una, una pregunta, este, near significa cerca, ¿verdad? That's correct. Y far? Lejos. Lejos. Ah. Uh -huh. so, depende a qué distancia esté el elemento que estamos señalando. Okay. Uh -huh. Thank you. Thank you. Any other question? ¿Alguna otra pregunta? <coughs> Okay, we're going to have some moments to say the attendance. Aaron Alberto? Aaron? No? Ada Lisette? Is that Ada? Ada Lisette? No present? Alejandra Margarita? No. Ariel Alexandra? Yes. Present. Alexandra, yes, thank you. Blanca Rosa? Present. Remember Blanca, excellent. Brian Rene? Present. Very good. Then we have Douglas. Douglas Eribe. Present. Present, excellent. Elmer. Elmer Edenilson. Present. Great, thank you. Fernando de Jesus. Present. Thank you. Gabriela Abigail. Present. Thank you. Jocelyn Susana. <clears throat> Jocelyn Susana. No. Juan Alberto. Present. Thank you. Then we have Kenya Vanessa. Present. Very good. Maria Emilia. Present. Thank you. Marisol Elizabeth. Marisol. No. Nevi Isolina. Present. Thank you. Rafael Antonio. Present. Thank you. Rebecca Vanessa? Present. Great. Sandra Guadalupe? Present. Thank you. Sandra Margarita? Present. Great. Sochin Yamilet? Present. Very good. And Judy Edith? Present. Thank you very much, guys. Okay, we have the attendance. Now let's continue with this. We have an exercise here. For example, this one. We have demonstratives to use this, that, this, those. To mark this is my bed. You can also use possessives. 
Vean acá que se puede combinar también con posesivos. This is my bed. This is singular or plural? Singular. Singular, singular. excelente. That is near or far? Cerca o lejos? Near or far? Near. It's near. 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 Perfect. Near. That's near. good. Excellent. Now, what about this part? These are my scissors. Is singular or plural? Singular. Are you sure? Plural. Plural. Yeah, plural. 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 Es, fíjese que este es el mismo caso de los lentes, porque tienen dos eh, vidrios, siempre se toma como plural, igual que tijeras. Nosotros acá decimos tijera, pero en realidad porque tiene dos cuchillitas, entonces es, es forma plural. The scissors. These are my scissors. So it's plural. This is um, near or far. Cerca o lejos. Near or far. Yeah. That's near. Correct. What about the next one? Those are my glasses. Singular or plural? Plural. Plural. That is plural. Excellent. That's correct. Is near or far? Far. Far. That is far. Yes, those. Perfect. The next part. This is my car. Is singular or plural? Singular. 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 It's singular. All right. That's good. So is near or far? Near. Near. That's near. Perfect. That's good. Okay. The next part that we have here. These are my gloves. Singular or plural? Plural. 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 That's plural. Excellent. Is near or far? Near. Near. Far. Perfect. Near. Excellent. That's very good. And the next one. Now you give me the answer. What is happening? Oh, this. This right, uh -huh. so that will be singular or plural. Singular. That will be singular. That's correct. Let's write it here. Aquí siempre seguimos la misma regla, verdad? De el el uso de las mayúsculas. Siempre que iniciamos una oración, la empezamos con una mayúscula. So this is near or far, we say? Near. It's near, near right? Excellent. That is very good. <clears throat> Questions? Preguntas? No. No questions? No. Okay. Now we are going to listen and watch the video. Hi everyone, by the end of this class you'll become familiar with this and these. Before I start explaining this topic, we're going to listen to a quick audio which illustrates how this topic is used. Let's listen and repeat. Wow, what's this? It's a camera. Oh, cool. Thank you, Helen. It's great. You're welcome. Now open this box. Okay. Oh, uh, what are these? They're earrings. Oh, they're interesting. Thank you, Rex. They're very nice. In order to understand the concept of this and these, I would like to start by explaining the following. Number one, you're going to use this, that spell out, T H I S. Whenever you're talking about one object, 
which is near you. Number two, you're going to use these that spell out T H E S E whenever you're talking about two or more objects which are near you. On a different class, I'll explain how to use that and those. So as you can see on the screen, there is a camera. And therefore, whenever we talk about one object, we're going to say, this is a camera. If we want to ask a question about a particular object which is near to us, we will ask in the following way. What's this? It's an earring. On the other hand, on the screen, you also see two cameras. And therefore, whenever you refer to two or more objects which are near from you, you will say, these are cameras. Notice that the article A from the previous example disappears because we're no longer talking about one object, but instead two or more. If we want to ask a question about two or more objects which are near to us, we will ask in the following way. What are these? Their earrings or their cameras, for example, right? For our practice exercise, I would like for you to look at the image and practice making questions and answers. For example, what are these? Their keys. What's this? It's a CD player. You're going to do the same with numbers 3, 4, 5, and 6. After you complete your work, you should share it in our discussion forums. Okay, you could watch it, the video, and also you saw there the same as here, right? You saw about the short distance from near, far. Yes, Nevi? Yo quería preguntarle, maestra, si es necesario claro. ir haciendo los comentarios en los foros, porque ahí aparece abajo de, de las lecciones, entonces hay que ir haciéndolos. Eh, por el momento no, porque vamos a ir incluyendo ahí eh, más información. Ah, muy bien, gracias. Yo les, yo les avisaría para ir agregando más material. Any other question? No? Ok, let's practice. If you notice, you had questions there like, what is this? Uh, what are this, for example? If I want to ask a question like here, and I include the question here, and you want to investigate, like, ¿Qué es esto? ¿Qué es eso? It's like this. What's this? We are using short distance or long distance here? No distance. It's a long distance, correct. Are you sure? It's short. It's short distance. Es, está cerca. Because you're using this. So, suponiendo que alguien le señala algo y está bien cerca del elemento, entonces utilizamos this. ¿Qué es esto? What's this? Ah, uh -huh, correct. And you're going to respond like this. A backpack. Ajá, uh -huh. it's a backpack. This is in the case of the singular. You say it's. It's a backpack. Because it's only one, right? It's only one. Now we can also include this to investigate about the camera. So let's ask about the camera. What's this? It's a, it's a camera. 
It's a camera. That's correct, because it's only one. So you have this structure. Esta es la estructura, porque es una singular. Ahora, no es necesario utilizar ya el demostrativo, aunque también se puede. Solo que en la respuesta hay que tener cuidado porque vamos a utilizar el demostrativo de acuerdo a la distancia en la que uno se encuentre. Por ejemplo, si me preguntan, what's this? ¿Qué es esto? Y la persona que responda puede decir también, that's a backpack. Esa es mochila, pero porque está lejos de, del elemento. Esto todo depende de la distancia. De manera generalizada, más práctico, se puede responder así. It's a backpack. También con un posesivo podría decir, eh, it's my backpack. It's your backpack. Yes. ¿Se comprende? Yes. 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 Okay. Now, what about, do you remember this? What's this? It's a wallet. It's a wallet. Excellent. That's good. Now tell me, what's this? A dictionary. It's a dictionary. That's correct. Good one. Sandra Margarita, what's this? Sandra? This is the... It's a credit card. It's, it's a debit card. Uh -huh. Or a credit card too, right? Uh -huh. That's good. Maria Emilia, what's this? Uh, it is a uh, cell phone. A cell phone. That's good. Okay, now let's see Rebecca. Rebecca, what's this? It's a money. Uh -huh. That's good. It's money. It's money. En este caso ya no vamos a utilizar el A. Porque la palabra dinero es incontable. Y es el A solo se utiliza para algo contable. Es decir, un o una. No como los niños que dicen, dame un dinero. <ríe> They say, un dinero, right? No, you say money. Hay palabras que son incontables, entonces ya no utilizamos el artículo A. O an, es como café o agua. Como decimos a veces aquí, dame un agua. <ríe> And it's not correct, right? La dine, a bottle of water, una botella de agua, o una bolsa de agua, a bag of water. Now, it's money, right? Now, it's let's money. check this one. What is it? Or what's this? ID. Ah, it's an ID, right? That's good. What's your ID? Here in El Salvador, what's our ID? Do it. Do it. Do it. Excellent. That's correct. Very good. Okay. What about this one? What's this? It's a memory stick. It's a memory stick. It's a USB. Right? It has it's a memory, a flash memory. Correct. Okay. Now this uh, what about this one? Number nine. What's this? It's a watch. Number nine. It's a watch. That's correct. Okay. This is in the case of singular. Now you are going to formulate also questions. Uh, for example, Brian, muéstrenos un objeto que tiene ahí cerca. Um, quiero ver. My notebook. Your notebook, excellent. Okay, formulate the question and you are going to ask uh, Marisol. Marisol, are you there? Marisol, estamos por ahí? No? Okay, then ask uh, Kenya. To Kenya, Vanessa. Hágale la pregunta. What's this? Y muéstrelo, right? Uh, okay. With the notebook? Aha, with the notebook. What what is uh, what is a notebook? Aha. Uh -huh. What's this? Como usted investiga qué es, entonces no mencionamos el elemento. Yes? Ah, okay. Yes. Okay. What's this? What this? That's good. Okay. Kenya? It's it uh 
notebook. A notebook, yeah, that's correct. It's very good. Yes, nice. Okay, now Douglas, you formulate the question and you are going to ask Ariel, Ariel Alexandra. Okay, uh, Ariel, what's this? What's this? What's this? It's money. Money? No. Oh. It's a it's a, a, a glass. That's un vaso. It's a glass. Uh -huh, yes, it's a ah, yes. 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 Ah, yes. No, it's for you. But you say, es lo que está mostrando Douglas ahorita, que está mostrando un vaso. So you ah, say, okay. it's a glass. The biggest. It's a glass. Oh, biggest, right? Is that biggest? <laughs> yeah. Yes, <laughs> very good, very nice. Okay, so that is in the case of the singular, but now let's formulate with the plural. In the case of the plural, the question is going to be like this. What are this? It can be what are this or what are those, dependiendo de la distancia que tengamos. So if you mention, for example, this part, what are this? Brian, what are this? Uh, gla glasses. Ajá. Gla gla glasses. 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 That's good. Yeah. Okay. Now, in the answer, we're going to include the subject. Yo tengo una pregunta. Yes, tell me. Digamos, en el caso del vaso que mostró el compañero, digamos, hay diferencia entre decir un vaso, digamos, que el material influya. Digamos, si es un vaso plástico, un vaso de vidrio, siempre va a ser glass. You can say a plastic, plastic glass, or also you can say a cup, a plastic cup. cup. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yeah, that's another option. Yeah, what happened is that glass is in general manner, right? But you can say a okay. plastic, plastic cup too. Yo también quería preguntar algo. Yes. Este, con el ejemplo que dio el compañero del cuaderno, mm -hmm. la respuesta no se puede decir it's your. Yes, you can say it. Mm -hmm. Exacto, sí, porque el, el elemento no necesariamente tiene que ser de uno, puede ser de otra persona. Ajá, como Ajá. por ejemplo cuando decimos es tu cuaderno, digamos. Ajá, like, eh, yes, you can ask, like, eh, what's this? ¿Qué es esto? Es tu cuaderno. Es your computer. Uh -huh. What's this? Um, it's your cell phone, for example. Yes, it's correct. Se puede utilizar también de esa manera. Yes. It's my, it's your, uh -huh. it's. Ahí depende cómo lo querramos utilizar. Uh -huh. Any other question? Okay, let's see in the plural. If you say, what are this? They're, so what are this? Glasses, right? So you say, glasses. glasses. They're glasses. Because it's plural, right? Porque es el caso de, de plural. That's the same case as here. What are this? Pictures. Ah, good. There, there are pictures. There are pictures. There are pictures. Es como traducirlo, decir, son. Son fotos. They are pictures. They are pictures. Ajá. Ahora, si eh, la persona que responde y dice, esas son fotos. Entonces sería those, porque está a larga distancia. Está lejos. Those are pictures. Those are photos. Those are glasses. Todo depende, como les menciono, eh, de la distancia en la que estemos. What about this one? Number 13. What are this? Ada. Ajá. Baker. Case. Kiss. Keys, ajá, that's good. They are keys. Yeah, that's correct. They are keys. Nice. Okay. So we have the plural cases. What about this one? Number 10. What are this? 
Jesus. Jesus. Ajá, ok. ¿Y singular o plural? Singular. Plural, right? Because it's tissues. Servilletas, tissues. Yes. Ok, we have this case. We have their the tissues. They are pictures, they are glasses, they are keys. So we can use the plural case too. Questions? ¿Qué le dije, niña? Yo tengo una, Miss. Yes, tell me. De, cuando dice, cuando yo hago la pregunta, what are these? Mm -hmm. eh, y digamos que las llaves están lejos, mi respuesta tiene que ser... Those. 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 Uh, those, are, those are your keys. Those are my keys. Todo depende de la distancia. Y si la pregunta me la hacen con what are those, uh -huh. ya mi respuesta sería they are. Puede ser. Ajá. Es que esta es de manera como general. Ah, ok. Si usted no quiere utilizar eh, el pronombre this, or this and that, those, Puede utilizarlo de manera general. There. 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 Y así ya no se complica utilizando this and those. Es más práctico. Cuando es plural, ¿verdad? Pero cuando es singular, entonces sí. Es it's a backpack. What's this? It's a dictionary. O también puede ser. That is a dictionary. Si está lejos, ¿verdad? Si está cerca. This is a dictionary. Thank you. Thank you very much. Any other question? ¿Algo otra pregunta? No questions? No questions. No questions? Okay, guys, I'm going to send you this link. Le voy a enviar este link para que puedan hacer ese ejercicio de acá, okay? Y vamos trabajando en la plataforma. Have a good night, guys. Thank you very much. Teacher. Uh, yes. Una pregunta. Tell me. Dígame. Tell me. Este, fíjense que yo me metí en la plataforma ayer para hacer la, la actividad de, de la clase de ayer. Uh -huh. Y me atreví a hacer la clase de la actividad de la clase de ahora de los números telefónicos. Ah, ok. Pero este. No sé si son como ocho o no sé cuántos son, pero hay uno que no me pareció que no sale en la grabación. Eh, no disculpa que te interrumpa, pero igual a mí me salió así ese ejercicio en donde dice Jennifer, parece. Ah, ese es el que no sale y no se puede pasar, sale malo si uno no lo, no lo llena. Yo no le aparece la una, opción. Una, pero... una... Yo lo hice y no sí sale, sino que no sale el nombre, sino que eh, después de Jennifer sale que sale el de, Michael. Dice el de él y sale el que dice el último. Ya los últimos creo que son los que ustedes dicen. Lo que sí, pasa o sea, es que los son los sale, de ellos. Son los de ellos. Entonces Ajá. él dice que dice my, my cell phone o algo así. este Y el otro le pregunta cuál es el número de él. Lo que pasa es que hay dos que repiten porque como son roomies, viven en la misma como habitación o en la misma... Mm -hmm. en, en la, puede ser el mismo apartamento o casa. Ajá. Ajá. Viven, tienen el número, mismo número. Eh... Ajá. Pero van seguidos, van seguidos los números. Sí, exacto, porque primero le pregunta de, de uno de ellos y después del otro, pero tienen el Ajá. mismo número. Eh... Es que sale primero lo de la Rumi y después sale el de ella y después sale del, el del hombre. Uh -huh. Pero una consulta. Aparece? Porque Dígame. está entre. Porque, o sea, después de Nicole, Nicole Jackson aparece Jennifer Miller. Entonces, ¿Qué? ese número telefónico es el que no, 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 o sea, no lo logré distinguir. Si es ese, el de arriba, el número que, como me están comentando de que pueda que sean las dos líneas o con el de Michael. Es que el, el, el de Nicole, el de Nicole es el Rumi y el del el de Jennifer es el que ella dice de ella y el otro es el del el del hombre el de último. Creo que le dice 
same, como que es el mismo. Ah, el de eh, It's Nicole. The same number. Uh -huh. Entonces, uh -huh. volvés a poner el mismo. Se sí, porque le dice que es el mismo. <ríe> o sea que en, el, en Nicole y Jennifer vas a poner el mismo número. Ah, It's like okay. Here, okay. Number four. Sí, es el mismo uh, four número. Four and five. It's like four and five. It's the same number. Por eso le menciona ahí en el video. Ah, it's the same number. Es el mismo número. Yeah. Igual, para confirmar, ustedes pueden escucharlo tantas veces ustedes quieran. Sí, yo lo escuché como ¿Mm? cinco veces, pero no lo entendía. Ajá, porque es el mismo número. Ah, oh, vale. Ajá, de Ahí ese. Uh -huh. Gracias. Thank you so much, guys. We continue tomorrow. Yes, tell me. Yo le quería decir que, bueno, eh, ayer no me pude conectar porque me puse más mala de la gripe, la garganta, y no podía ni hablar. Ah, y, ok. Me llamaron, ¿verdad? Este uh -huh. me dijo que voy a estar en la cámara, pero ahorita no he tenido como buena, buena señal, así que me conecté ya a lo último. Ok, <risa> igual ahí van a aparecer los, los minutos que usted se conectó. Gracias. Thank you. Thank you Thank very you. much. Very much. Have a good night, guys. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye. 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 Good night. Bye. 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 Good night. Hello. Este, hola, hola, Sochi, dígame. Este, fíjese que ya terminé la, eh, todo ya de la tarea. Uh -huh. Entonces, ya, ya no haría nada. Sí, ahorita, no eh, si usted gusta, usted puede adelantar. Es que ya lo adelanté todo. Ah, ok, se puede quedar, eh, si gusta, escuchando más. Igual, yo les envío los links. Otros links para que puedan hacer más refuerzo, hacer más actividades. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ah, bueno, gracias. Thank you, so chill. Have a good night.